Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here and today we are going to test the Avast Antivirus vs the Annabelle.exe ransomware. So without any further ado, let's get straight into our first test. Ok guys, so the first test is going to be obviously with all the protections activated on the Avast Antivirus in this case. We have all of them enabled as it says here this computer is protected. I also deactivated the Ethernet because you never know if you can get other people infected and stuff due to, due to the Ethernet cable and stuff. Probably it's not that possible because I did run ransomware and stuff with the Ethernet on and it didn't happen that fortunately. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna run the Annabelle ransomware with the Ethernet off and with the, all the protections on on the Avast Antivirus in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, the Annabelle.exe ransomware has got detected and stopped by the Avast Antivirus even with the Ethernet off as we can see here. So with that guys, let's get further into the second test. Ok guys, so the second test is gonna be with the Behavior Shield protection off as we can see here guys. This is the only protection that is turned off. So with that guys, Let's run the Annabella Taxi Ransomware with the secondary slash behavior shield protection off only in 3, 2, and 1. And as we well can see, once again, the Avast antivirus has detected and stopped the Annabella Taxi Ransomware from infecting the system, as we can see. So, with that, guys, once again, we are gonna get further into a third test. Ok guys, so the third test is gonna be this time around with the file shield protection off as you can see here. Basically the main protection is deactivated at the moment and the rest of the protections are on. So with that guys, let's run the Annabella Taxi ransomware and hope that it's gonna be detected in 3, 2 and 1. Ok, this is not a very good sign guys, as we can see we got the UAC window here. Usually when this happens there is a risk that we are gonna get infected, hopefully that's not gonna happen. So ok, let's click yes I guess and hopefully we are not gonna be infected. So at this point I ran the ransomware, hopefully the Avast antivirus will detect it eventually with the file shield protection off. And oh ok so it did got blocked as you guys can see, it did got detected and blocked. Alright let's move it to the quarantine. But as you guys can see some of the files still got encrypted which is not a good sign at all. So there was actually no need for a text document or something on desktop as a test to see if it's gonna be encrypted because literally these files got encrypted so there was no point in having those. But yeah guys, let's do a scan as the Avast Antivirus recommends us and after the scan we are gonna do a restart as well and if the system is fine then we are gonna take the conclusion and if it's not gonna be fine then we are gonna take once again a conclusion but probably a negative one. So with that guys, let's do the scan. Ok guys, so I'm not sure if this is a good thing or not, because as you guys can see the Avast antivirus is literally telling us that there is no malware found. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but uh, ok, since we did the start test and this might scan as well, and it literally told us that there is no infection ongoing, what I'm gonna do is that I'm unfortunately gonna have to delete these files, and uh, after that guys we are gonna restart the system and see if everything is fine or not. So, let's do that now. Ok guys, so it seems like the system has restarted I think, I'm not sure. We have a black screen, which is not a very good sign, to be honest. I'm actually gonna try to run Task Manager, but yeah, as we as can see, I think Task Manager is dead because of the ransomware. And I'm pretty sure that the explorer is also dead, we literally have just a blank screen as you guys can see, unfortunately. I guess I'm gonna try to do another restart, but that's probably gonna be just pointless because we literally can't boot. I mean, the system boots up, but the explorer is dead and we can't do anything about it, we can't run task manager, we can't do anything. Ok, so yeah, there we go guys, so as, as you guys can see, the logon UI and also the the explorer thing keeps crashing every time I restart the system and it, and it also boots up. So guys, I don't know, as a conclusion honestly, as a conclusion I think that the Avast antivirus has failed, it couldn't do the third test, 
but on the other hand it did protect the system with the behavior shield off and also all the protections on it did protect the system and this is a very rare scenario of someone having the main protection off and with that guys uh, I suggest you to not pirate software just go to the legit website buy it and you know stay safe from these websites I mean okay the malwares from those websites are not like those that's for sure but you are probably gonna find something similar disguised in a legit seemingly software and when you are gonna run it boom this is what's gonna happen or even worse so guys don't pirate stay safe and far from these websites and be careful and also keep all your protections on as always i keep repeating that i hope you guys enjoyed this video the system is dead unfortunately we can't really do anything but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in new future videos and thanks for watching bye bye